Today, we're examining three relatively new AI editors in a comprehensive comparison. The first is Flux Context. We'll also test the new image editor from Quen Image by Alibaba. And finally, explore this brand new editor called Nano Banana from Google. Let's get started. For this editor battle, I'll use four specific examples from my previous projects. First, we have a 3D render of a restaurant where we'll ask each editor to add people and make the scene as hyper-realistic as possible. Second, we'll do the opposite, taking a real photo of a crowded space and requesting the removal of all people. Third, we'll test translation capabilities by asking the editors to convert English text within graphics to Spanish while maintaining the original style. Finally, We'll transform a casual video screenshot into a professional LinkedIn-style profile photo with a suit and office background. Let's start with Freebeat, a platform that specializes in creating music videos through AI prompts and music integration. The platform offers various models, and today we're using Flux Context Pro. I'll upload the restaurant render and instruct it to add people while making the scene hyper-realistic. Simultaneously, I'm uploading the same image to Quen Image. You can access this tool directly through their website without downloading any software, though installation is possible if preferred. The prompt remains consistent. Add people to the image and make it hyper-realistic. For Nano Banana, we're using LM Arena AI, a website that tests various AI models for images, videos, and other media generation. I'm uploading the same image with identical instructions. The Flux context result shows excellent work it successfully added people to the render. However, the resolution appears somewhat low, and the faces look slightly distorted, though the overall execution is impressive. The editor maintained the original image composition while seamlessly integrating the human figures. The main weakness is the facial resolution quality. However, I noticed it altered the lighting slightly, making the back area darker compared to the original. Quinn Image also delivered strong results, preserving the exact composition. The counter area lighting remains clear, and the generated people look better than Flux Context version, though still at lower resolution. In LM Arena, we can't identify which result came from Nano Banana initially. Both generated images look impressive. But examining the facial details, the right image shows superior definition without appearing overly processed. After the verification process, we discovered that Nano Banana produced the right image, the one with better facial definition. The background appears sharper than Vlox Context result, and it even added food details to the tables. In this first round, Nano Banana outperforms both Flux Context and Quen Image. Moving to the second challenge, we'll remove people from a crowded restaurant photo. This image has a more panoramic format, so I'm adjusting the resolution to 21 to 9. The instruction is simple, eliminate all people from the image. Flux Context delivers outstanding results, maintaining the fisheye lens style while completely removing all human figures. The background elements, including poster text, remain perfect. The editor cropped the sides slightly, but preserved the original style and atmosphere. There are minor inconsistencies with chair placement, but the overall result is excellent. I encounter an error with Quen Image, due to the non-standard 16 to 9 format, requiring a quick edit before re-uploading. The corrected result shows successful people removal while maintaining the original perspective. 
the background posters show slight resolution changes and the computer screens appear somewhat unusual. This round feels like a tie between the editors. LM Arena also experienced format-related errors, necessitating a new conversation to restart the process. The final Nano Banana result demonstrates exceptional work. It missed removing only one person, but maintained incredible consistency in image resolution and detail preservation. All photo elements remain intact, with outstanding definition throughout. Nano Banana again shows superior performance in this round. The third challenge involves translating English text within an instruction graphic to Spanish while preserving the original design. I instruct each editor to translate all the text in this image into Spanish. Flux Context fails this task completely. It generates fictional text instead of translating the existing content to Spanish. The performance in text translation is significantly poor. Testing the same challenge with the other editors yield similarly disappointing results. Neither Quen Image nor the initial Nano Banana attempt successfully translate the text content. Even when Nano Banana processes the request, it only partially translates the title while leaving the rest in English, creating an inconsistent result. None of the three editors successfully complete the translation task as requested. For the final challenge, we're creating a professional profile photo from a video screenshot. I'm uploading a casual image of myself and requesting background removal, suit addition, and placement in an office environment. Flux Context produces impressive lighting that genuinely appears office appropriate. However, the result looks somewhat pixelated, which is the model's main weakness in this application. Quen Image delivers strong results with perfect lighting. The editor cleverly maintains the original shirt while adding a suit jacket. The texture appears slightly artificial resembling plastic, but the overall result is impressive. Nano Banana's result is outstanding. The lighting consistency is exceptional, creating the authentic appearance of being photographed in an actual office. The face resolution is enhanced making this the best result among the three editors. Nano Banana takes the lead in this final round as well. Throughout this comparison, Nano Banana consistently demonstrates superior performance across multiple editing challenges. While all three editors show capabilities in specific areas, Nano Banana's consistency and quality make it the standout performer in this comprehensive test. If you found this comparison helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Enable notifications to stay updated on future content. For those interested in learning more, I recommend watching my other video about adding professional audio and sound effects to videos without using VO3. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.